Yes, Daffy Duck is an appropriate logo mascot for this hard-edged Batman film. I hope one day that the Angry Birds can be in the logo for Sony's next reissue of Heavy Metal. Also, f Daffy Duck. He's the worst. He's Bugs Bunny without wit. He's Roadrunner without charm. He's that asshole friend everyone has that thinks he's funny, but he's just an asshole. Also, also, 47 seconds of logos. Oh, Bruce, is that you? Um, who the f else would it be? Is there some other asshole that looks like Bruce Wayne wandering around Wayne Mansion? She's probably casing the joint. Why is Discount Robin on this conference call while beating ass? I know these guys don't present a challenge, but who needs second-rate Robin's advice anyway? Doing back handsprings to avoid bullets. It's the Mary Lou Retton school of gymnasticking away from things. It's like seeing a unicorn in a $5,000 suit. Look, I love Jennifer Morrison, but why does every line reading so far have a pause? Tom and I were inseparable as kids. Especially after losing my parents. Whoa, wait a minute. Bruce lost his parents? How did that happen? God, I hope they show us how it happened later. Also, holy sudden new childhood best friend, Batman. Another chemical plant in a Batman movie? How many chemical plants can one city sustain, anyway? Asking for a Houston. Let's also look at the police vehicle disbursement here. There are three cop cars at the top here that are facing away from the chemical plant toward other cops and fleeing workers. Honestly, it looks like about nine vehicles and 50 or so pedestrians. And it's a sloppy representation of this plant's employee base and this city's police response to a hostage situation. He has demanded an undisclosed ransom in all the years I've watched movies, it seems like every actor who plays a reporter never actually acts like a reporter. The cadence is all wrong. Reporters usually have an earnest tone, but almost never monotone. Bane, if you're watching, we have your money. Don't hurt the boy. Like all negotiations with hostage takers, this one takes place via the news. You'd think at this point that villains in a Batman movie would do more roof security, since that's his entrance MO. It might not matter anyway, but at least you'd be prepared. The child was taken from the playground in broad daylight. Thanks, Alfred. What does that have to do with anything right now? Batman basically tases Bane and it works for a good several seconds. Isn't Bane usually a bit more eloquent? Man, this constant Alfred commentary is goddamn annoying. Asshole. Oh my god, what a filthy little mouth that f***er has. Daffy Duck would not be pleased. The life-giving power of a Lazarus pit was exploited by an unknown intruder. Look, if you have a thing called the Lazarus pit, you keep that sh guarded. And I don't even need to know what magic it possesses to know that. People, guard valuable s***s. It was a pleasure to see you work. Next time, call first. Yeah, um, why didn't she? It's incredibly weird that she shows up to the Bane kidnapping factory to talk business with Batman directly after a fight. Wait. Where's the ransom? I don't know, but I bet Catwoman is making a ham-handed exit as we speak so that Batman will know she stole it and can start chasing her. Gotta tell you guys, I've seen so many rooftop chases in so many movies. They do nothing for me anymore. I'm dead inside, as all of you well know. But there's something that reminds me of that numbness when I watch a rooftop chase. I know Catwoman has cat-like powers and all, but wouldn't the impact from such a huge jump still be a huge concern? Not to mention, she lands on this train and somehow sticks to the roof of the car, rather than tumbling from the fall of the train's momentum. I'd tell physics to go f*** itself too, but that's impossible because of physics. <laughs> Batman survives this stupid high fall. Hush, Batman. Well, it's backwards, but close enough. Credits roll! Also, Hush has this big plan in place for a big showdown at the end of the movie. How is he so certain that Batman would survive this fall? I guess he knows about plot armor, too. You know, some guys pay for that. Is that a sex bondage prostitution joke? Look, when we adapt these comics into animated films, do we need to keep everything? Is there some Rick and Morty portal system in Gotham where the entire Batman universe is waiting in line just to enter the movie? No matter where the action is, a new character is always one minute away. Alfred, Batman's hurt. Really hurt. I'm talking really super major hurt. He's triple dog dare hurt. In Gotham, where roof entry is the number one reason your shit gets stolen, there's still always a skylight to enter any building you want for some reason. And sure, Catwoman was expected to show up here, but why not ever go through a normal door? You sound disappointed. And you sound like Peyton List. And what's weird is Batgirl is also voiced by Peyton List, but a completely different Peyton List. It's like the casting director slammed his fist on the table and said, get me Peyton List! And someone was like, which one? And he was like, all the Peyton Lists! Don't worry yourself with anyone or anything, except pleasing me. Movie is only PG-13, so all the pleasing will be taking place off screen. And I'll be jacking off screen. This is the worst and laziest draw on American currency I've ever seen. Take the roads to the forest road near mile marker 82 and wreck it. I know we want to have a cover for Bruce when they take him to the hospital, but do they have to wreck a car? Why can't you just say he fell off a balcony at Wayne Manor? The National Whisper pays their writers to type gibberish in their articles. If you're going to bother animating this why not write a real article? Or at least draw one of those obscure blurry things that pass for articles. Also, The Whisper is apparently a monthly publication, as this one is dated November 2016. But they got an amazing scoop just before they went to print about Bruce Wayne's clumsy driving and the surgeon friend who saved him. Bruce, 
I will always be your friend. He will not. Jesus, who designed this prison? Howard Rourke? Another mission with your so-called suicide squad? What are we, some kind of terrible movie? See? A door! Why'd she have to drop in from the skylight the last time? Also, why the f*** is she here? I guess she just happens to be investigating something so that when Bane shows up here after breaking out of prison, we can have an action scene. Every single f***ing employee here at this newspaper has three f***ing monitors, but no one is using more than two. Also, there's a wall of TVs on the ceiling that are playing footage of clouds. Lois, I have a deadline. God, Superman and Lois Lane are in this as well? Why is this a Batman movie again, and not a DC or Justice League movie? We're like a Green Lantern, a Flash, and a Wonder Woman away from a DC full house. And you and Clark could work for me. Just don't forget my big raise, Mr. Moneybags. <laughs> Lois. Ha ha, we have fun. LexCorp makes a fortified ethylene compound, engineered to allow exotic plants to withstand changes in locale and temperature. How is it that Poison Ivy needs this compound? Both times she appears in this movie, she'll be in a rooftop greenhouse. Why would she need a special compound to grow exotic plants? Plot convenience? What you need is to show me some respect. I saved all your asses against Cyborg Superman. I'm sure there's some continuity between the DC Batman cartoons, and I haven't seen the movie where Lex saves the Justice League from Cyborg Superman, but when you haven't seen that movie or read that comic book or wherever that story comes from, it sounds absolutely out of nowhere and hilarious. Saved your asses from Cyborg Superman is just as random as saved your asses from the Bee Gees. And I'll remind you, I'm a Justice League member now. The f Again, when we are adapting comic books or comic runs, do we have to include everything? To people not familiar with all the lead-up to this in the comics, this Lex Luthor Justice League is a huge red flag question mark. This movie adaptation could easily have had Batman find that address another way. Damn it! Adapt comics so that people who haven't read them can still follow along. But no one fakes it with me. She's caught Catwoman pretending to be loyal, but that is 100% a sex pun. And maybe there's too much sex punning in comics. Just maybe. Sure, I have one of these. Check that. Two of these in my bat suit. I somehow fit them next to my batarang, grappling hook, and loose change for the toll roads. I won't kill. Are you trying to resist? Seems my kryptonite kisses need a touch-up. Well, isn't that convenient? Superman couldn't kill Batman and Catwoman because Poison Ivy's kryptonite kisses weren't strong enough. Personally, I don't understand why the kryptonite kiss doesn't have a two-fold effect, giving Ivy control over a weakened Superman. Batman has kryptonite spiky knuckles, because of course he does. If either of these pricks says the name Martha, I am going to riot. Remember what I said about the gas main? I lied. And I'm so confident that my next move will subdue you that I decided it wouldn't hurt to give you that information. Wow, Batman and Catwoman are certain that Superman can simply snap out of his trance. This is the psychopathic version of the real you is inside you somewhere cliche. I think your business here is done. They're gonna f aren't they? You weren't supposed to throw Lois off the roof. I'm gathering that since we never hear what Catwoman was supposed to do, then the screenwriters didn't know what the plan was either. The bat, the cat, the dolphin and the dog, koala bear and hog. This just gets better and better. How so? You've crippled Batman a few days ago and now he's upright kissing hot feline babes. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. This movie is kind of boring actually. Pennyworth tells me you're romantically involved with a criminal now? Ex-criminal. Why the f*** is Alfred telling punk-ass emo kids about Bruce's sexual liaisons? That's bad bundling! Here's your steak, Larry. And one for you, Mo. And Shem. Curly denial. I'm the only one who gets to tie up Mr. J. Jesus, this thing has more lazy sex jokes than an Adam Sandler movie. I had a bet with Eartha here that you wouldn't show up. But I made a different deal with Julie Newmar, so I was able to balance the ledger. That wasn't it. Truth be told, I like that about you. I was gonna skip, then instead I accidentally... I'm surprised that the entire audience doesn't ask for their money back, since this clown guy is definitely not singing the notes that are allegedly coming out of his mouth. Also, opera. Ladies and jerks! Gotham is so used to having their evening interrupted by comic book villains, they don't even run for the exits anymore. This is like earthquakes in LA to them. Man, this is a scene from a movie that's just begging to get out of context caption. Your gesture drag was over in the 90s. Now it's just sad. You mean at one time it was in fashion? Batman catches her, so she doesn't die, and it's super convenient. And I'm kind of tired of writing about all the convenient in this movie. It should be called Batman Hush Now with all that convenience. <laughs> look, I don't expect these things to have amazing animation, but would it hurt you guys to make it look like Joker isn't being a ventriloquist with this laugh? Batman, don't! As usual, Jim Gordon shows up just in time to keep Batman from being too violent. Wait, 
What? The f*** is Gordon doing here at the back alley? Even if he was called to the crime scene, wouldn't he have checked inside first and then come out the back exit? Furthermore, why is Gordon always on the scene? This guy's a commissioner, not a beat cop. Batman clearly and definitely tried to choke Joker to death for several long seconds, even while being rebuked by Gordon. But after he lets go, he's going to be emotionally swayed by blood on his gloves? Store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy. Way too many seconds of scripture. Also, it's a funeral, so obviously it's raining, and everybody at the rainy funeral has black umbrellas. Boner? Just look at this sh How many contractors had to be involved in the building of this super secret lair? Hundreds, maybe even thousands. The idea that Bruce either killed them all after the completion of the project, or somehow paid them all enough to stay quiet forever is ridiculous. This is what happens when clown porn goes too far. Hush knows Bruce Wayne is Batman. Dun, dun, duh, oh, uh, wait. This is like the ninth Batman villain to figure this out though, right? Are you saying I have competition? I was seeing someone on and off before you called. What is this, the sex Merlion? Why are we spending so much time on the Bruce and Selina dating Riddler. That C-lister? It's like they're all crawling out from under the carpets now. Oh, don't you know? That's how DC got its name. Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson once said, We'll have villains here, we'll have villains there, they'll be crawling out of the carpet. I'll show myself out now. But if you're serious about her, you're going to have to tell her everything. Otherwise, it won't work. So Nightwing is giving Batman advice about making a relationship with Catwoman last long term. Do I have that right? <gasps> Riddler gasps, and I guess he has a zoom lens installed into his eyeballs, because there's no way he saw Hush in the dark-ass room looking down on them from that distance. No one will be seated during the scene where Batman breaks half a dozen glass doors and mirrors because he keeps getting fooled by Hush's parlor tricks, which is super antithetical to Batman, but whatever. I just want this loser to end already and uh, I don't often say something was worth the wait because I hate waiting, but that meow. How good could it have been? You're still wearing a nightgown. It doesn't even look like you'll need to put the sheets in the laundry. Oh my God, your scars. Don't act like you didn't see those scars while you were pegging him. And if you can't control your actions, you're not quite sane. Whole, oh, and I was wrong. You did change. And now because I <laughs> earlier, I still have my skip to play here. Skip. Holy shit, as Batman and Catwoman arrive, Nightwing is doing gymnastic exercises. <laughs> Christ, they put a whole gymnastics thing out here on a pad. Look at that pommel horse. It's right on the edge. This pommel horse is an invitation to die. There's a lot of f***ing in this movie. Daffy Duck has seen some sh this is the problem with adapting a story that's probably like 45 minutes tops. You get a lot of filler where your badass hero has relationship drama in about five scenes. Mind if I tag along? Thing a few dozen YouTube channels said to CinemaSins a few years after we got popular. <laughs> I know Hush is getting all the villains to attack Batman and friends, but really all of it feels like an excuse to get the villains packed into one movie. It feels like what Toto does whenever they come at you with that 99 nonsense when they tour. Just play Africa and everyone is fine, guys. Who's Arthur Wynn? Inventor of the crossword puzzle. I hate you. I hate you, Joker. I hate you, Batman. I hate you, Tom. I hate you, Jim Gordon. I hate you, movie. If the Lazarus Pit supposedly heals you, why doesn't it heal Riddler's question mark scar? One by one, I convinced, cajoled, and compelled the others to play their part. But how? You gloss over the how. The how is important. Who? is Batman. Maybe Batman knew that this was a fake Riddler, but was there not a better way to do this? This could have been some straight up murder. Now Clayface is here and we're in prison. So this is the Clayface redemption? The Clayface mile? Let's go to Clayface? You're seeing another villain already? I thought we had something special. Jeez, did the Lego Batman movie suddenly become canon within the serious DC movies? Convenient Arkham Firehose is convenient. Since I've left no other clues, Batman will revisit the name Arthur Wynn and check the names of the 14 places to find that only one is an anagram for Arthur Wynn. So from 62 warehouses and factories in a 10 mile radius, Batman will focus on 14 possible showdown places and then play anagram games to figure out the one left. But how does he cut the list from 62 to 14? And how does Hush know it'll be 14? New Thernery. Man, New Thernery sounds more like the anagram and not the thing the anagram translates into. Why did Hush go through all the trouble of removing Thomas Elliot's body for just this one little bit of showmanship in the final showdown? I mean, is it gonna hurt more somehow if he sees Thomas Elliot, a guy who he didn't give a shit about enough to hang out with anyway? You're not going anywhere. Except down. Weird. My college girlfriend told me the same thing the first time I suggested we were done having sex. Oh, come the bath on, man. Tonight, I'll show them all by doing what none of them could. Killing the Batman! Yeah, but your plan is insane, which I'm sure is the point, because, you know, you're a Batman villain. 
You hired tons of villains who could have killed Batman if not for one convenient weakness. For instance, Superman could have done the job, but lucky circumstances broke him out of a poison ivy kryptonite kiss. Clayface could have done it, but Arkham has a convenient water hose to weaken villains like Clayface lying around. You could have done it, but gravity and physics took the day off. You tell riddles a fifth grader could solve and you call yourself the Riddler. <laughs> The sheer lack of imagination is staggering. Man, if Bill Finger and Dick Sprang were alive, they'd beat your ass for saying this. I'm not scared of them anymore! I'll kill them just like I'm going to kill you! Blah 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 blah! Felis Catus ex machina. This final battle is edited like an MCU film. I know many punches and kicks were thrown and landed, but other than that, I'm not sure what the f happened. He didn't have to die. This will be Bruce's reasoning for breaking up with Selena. And all I have to say is mother. You nearly beat Joker to death earlier in this movie, and if it weren't for Gordon, you would have. Selena, I... I is a sad. Are you making some of those up? Nope, they're all real. Hey, I really think you should read that book, Strings, by Jeremy Scott. He does the narration on that CinemaSense channel. It's about superheroes. I don't know if you can find it here in Tokyo, but when you get back to the States, maybe you should look it up. That's really good. Change your mind, George. Last night, Darth Vader came down from the planet Vulcan and told me if I didn't read that strings book by Jeremy Scott, he'd melt my brain. From the Cocteau's plan, I'm the enemy. Because I like to think. I like to read. I like to read stories about superheroes. Heroes with obstacles that they have to overcome together as friends. I like friends. I like friendships and hardships and all kinds of ships. And I like strings. All kinds of strings. I like thread. I like rope. I like shoe strings. They're gonna need a bigger bookshelf. I just read strings. Show me. Nia's explaining the plot of strings to Morpheus. Did you know? When you went to space, you didn't order strings for me before you left. What gives you the right? What's the difference between you and me? I already read Strings by Jeremy Scott. There was a girl in Paris with the face of a book named Strings. What if I can't find her? It's easy. She's standing right next to you. Hey, if you read my book, I'll kill your wife. Remember, remember the 24th of September when Jeremy's book Strings comes out. I know of no reason that wouldn't be treason that you should go without. Are you like a crazy person? I'm quite sure they will say so. I want the f***ing book right f***ing now. We choose to read the Abels in this decade and do the other strings, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Don't tase me, bro! Don't tase me! Who are you? My name is Darth Vader. I am an extraterrestrial from the planet Vulcan. Is this a kissing book? Alfred, Batman's hurt. Really hurt. This forest is old. Very old. I prefer not to... Buttle for the world's greatest vegetable, sir. Oh, your father also buttled. Another mission with your so-called suicide squad? What, are we some kind of suicide squad? Send in the clowns.